thing is, you know, the C-Town never called and asked any questions about this. C-Town? Well, whoever's doing the yeah, doing I know. This work. I know. It's uh. Is it these guys here? No, they. It's uh, Archer. Never heard of them. Uh, the only way that we'll allow, I mean, and basically, the final grade is going to be here. Like, no, the final grade's right there. The grade, yeah, but still. So all of this. All this has to come out, basically. Yeah. Because. It has to be dropped. They have plenty of fall. There's plenty of fall. There's no reason to. For someone to say, well, we use schedule 40. And we're going to. Because we can't get 18 inches minimum cover. They can go underneath that drop this down to get 18, 18 inches minimum cover and use SDR 35. Yeah, right. the, the only way that they could do this is if me or my colleague give a variance. I'm not going to give them a variance because they can, they have plenty of fall. Yes, they do. So they need to dig deeper and bring this out. All of these lines that come out and tie in, those need to be four inch. That counts as plumbing once it leaves the That's house. four inch right there. This, this is not a four inch. So that nope. has to go from a three up to a, a two up to a four. This can become a four. Um, and basically you still need a surface. I mean, this can function as a surface clean out. Yep. That's fine. But also it needs to be great. And I'm looking at this, just looking at it, it's not, I doubt very much that it's, like I said, it's, it's got to have 2% fall. It, can, this is level. Right where you're standing, yeah. this is all level. I, 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 sent, I believe I sent you a picture. Yeah. I sent you pictures. Yeah, that, that bubble is right there dead well, center. And there's no reason why they can't get 2% and then bury, no, there's not. bury that 18 inches deep, minimum, and then come down, and they can bring this, this line... This could be a four up to here. Four come together. This has to be a four. Four and they got plenty of fall to get this 18 inches deep. But they can catch it. I know. Way down there. But the, it, the, I, I know the piping's out far enough, minimum 30 inches. But I kept telling them, man, this is not deep enough. It's just not. I mean, you can have them call me and I'll explain to them what the rules and regs are. That's more likely what's going to have to happen because they won't listen to me. Yeah. Well, they won't pass inspection. Oh, and they're I, not. And I'll let my I'll let my colleague Brent know. He's the other inspector. Brent. Uh, Brent. Uh, Sorry, Brent. Yeah. So, and I'm gonna take some pictures for my records Please. here. Yeah, because I sent I sent uh, Putnam and Mr. Ragland pictures of all this as well. Yeah. And I'm and I'm Putnam. All right, yeah, I sent you pictures as well. But I'll take some pictures just so I'll share these with my colleagues. Yeah. And then I'll share these with Mike, too, and just say, hey, don't pass them. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, there's just nothing. You know, it's a lot of a... Yeah, because what, what should happen, this thing should go down at least another 12 inches. And then I would say 22.5 out, bringing it down even more. And, then and still here. continue going down a quarter inch every foot until you tie into that. Yeah, and, and if need be, if you, if you can't get the 2% there, you tie in a little farther. But this is a 4. Yeah. And then it ties into that. This other is not a 4, though. This no, but it needs to be a 4. Yeah, this right, this right here definitely needs to be a 4 yeah. coming out for the kitchen. Yeah. Let me take let me some photos here. Right, that's... No, I'm glad you called me because I, it's, you know, we don't want to get any more tangled up in the wrong idea here. Well, my, my only concern is, well, uh, Daryl is, uh, he's has, a homeowner. He has the unfortunate, uh, uh, to save time and money, he's, he's navigating a lot of this work to, uh, for that. Yeah. At the same time, he'll end up regretting it, though, because he's, yes, he's going to, he's going to be paying for this twice. Yeah, yeah. And at the same time, his wife his wife just had a kid, so he's really juggling a lot. Yeah, as a and he's got two kids already, and he has a, an 18 month old, I believe, or a two year old, and he also has a uh, a newborn that's not even a week old. So he's juggling a lot. Yeah. Uh, and his wife, 
is is never dealt with two kids at two young kids at one time. Oh, so I, I can't imagine. I don't have kids myself, but I can't imagine. So this one right here, this is the this is the actual uh, the the standing tub shower. So this has to be four inches coming out. When it leaves the building, according to our code, it's four. It, when the line leaves the building, it, it's got to be four inches. Because you're opening up and creating more suction well, running just, out. It's just everything goes from two to three to four to six to eight. It, everything just gets bigger downstream. Yeah, Ma it dollars. makes sense. And, and this right here is the code, though. This is a four. This is, if I remember correctly... Yeah, and this we would be fine with. This is fine, good. Yeah, but, but it's all, just it's just got to be. All this it has to be deeper by at least twelve inches. Yeah, and that that coming out there, if that was that was deeper, they this one. Yeah, they won't have to have that sweep in there. No, they wouldn't. And and that sweep's going to be a point that it's going to break, especially that shallow. Someone's going to be out here in three years dealing with that being broken this one right here because it's at a 45 down did it 45s again yeah or I mean, 90s that's not a, down that's an internal plumbing fixture that's not something that we normally say oh put that into your into your sewer line i mean they did a nice job gluing it all together yeah they did but, that that's a superb job but it's just not going to pass it's not going to pass inspection and, and basically if you say well it was cheaper and easier to not dig it deep enough yes. to get grade that doesn't that doesn't pass inspection. No. The only problem is uh, most people don't want to listen to what I have to say on this, even when I know what I'm talking about. And honestly, that. You, you're looking at their tie-in? Yeah, the fittings are okay. Uh, but... Fitting looks okay. It's hard to tell sometimes if it's. Well, what they should do is dug this out bigger, more deep. Yeah, because this, because honestly, this is a. If I show up for an inspection and someone's digging this, I have the right under this. The the city engineer under her authority, I can shut this job down until they quit shoring in here. This is a, a killer. Yeah, I know. This whole thing. I mean, this is the fact that you know that they would dig it like that and not have shoring in there children nearby children in the house it's dumb as shit and I, I i had to put all this up right here yeah because they didn't they didn't do it these are my own personal clothes yeah you're down there digging this in you don't have a shoring especially with this 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 stuff yeah because that stuff will fall in it'll fall in and kill you yeah it'll kill you in a heartbeat and so, you don't know what's up in here mm -mm. up in it because all this is backfill yeah exactly you can no i mean basically basically this all this needs to be redone and that's unfortunate for the homeowner but I've not been contacted from anyone from Archer Plumbing saying, hey, what do we need to do this? They're actually Archer Construction. Archer Construction. I mean, you know, and you don't need to be a licensed plumber to put this in. That's... No, you don't. I keep, telling the, I keep telling people that you don't have to be licensed. You just, you just got to pass the inspection. Yeah, you just got to know what the hell you're doing. That's it. Or call an inspector. <laughs> yeah, I, well, yeah, I don't mind calling people if I, if I need to know something. And, but uh, I do the best I can to get a lot of and not do enough research before I make any calls to verify all yeah. this stuff. See, this just isn't deep enough because they didn't want to jackhammer down far enough. No, they didn't. That's all they had to do was jackhammer down. But now keep in mind, not that it's a bad thing or a good thing, but this is eight over 18 inches thick. Yeah, that's, well, that's what you do when you do a conversion. <laughs> you find things. I mean, I've, I've done plenty of these in the past. And when you remodel a place, sometimes you're just going, wow, they really... Why they put a nail in every four inches? Because Grandpa was crazy, and you're trying to pull, get that floor. You know, and they just want a Grandpa to be busy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, I dig it, man. I understand that. So uh, I do know that this this plumbing this pump plumbing right here, this before it sits on any concrete has to be foamed. Yeah, that had this has to be foamed. This has to be foamed, and that over there in the kitchen has to be foamed as and well. You know, honestly, even you look at this, even with the basic cover on this. Even with this basic coverage on that, winter time, like it'll winter break. Time, that's gonna freeze. And break. It'll freeze and break, yeah, that's not, because I mean, we're really lucky in, in the Puget Sound region because we don't have a cross zone, really. You know, you get up to the mountains, 
you got to go a lot deeper because your sewer pipes will freeze. And the same thing in Alaska or back, you know, Montana. Here we're in this little sweet spot where it freezes, what, twice a year maybe? Yeah. And we don't get that, like, two foot of, of frost line into the soil. If it froze for a week here, like last we had that storm last winter, I guarantee you this thing would, would have problems. And yeah. then they'd be going, well, why did you pass it? I'd be like, well, I didn't pass it. <laughs> so that's a... Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on them and let them know. Cause yeah. now, now, now that I got an inspector backing up what I've been saying, I'm gonna get this entire thing. Cause they're they're not they're they haven't gotten paid yet. And yeah. They're not gonna and they're not gonna get paid. And if they don't finish the work, I'm gonna figure out how to uh, how much to cash them out, and get them out of here, and I'll do all I'll do all the shit my damn self. Yeah, it's just a shame, you know. It's like the pipes, you know. It's like it's it's material, you know. And that's the thing with someone does something like that about making a phone call. You could have saved a lot of money. Do you mind know if I take a quick peek inside? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, the washer and dryer coming out. That's fine. Tie ins. This is my water heater. Get the stack out. Water heater there. The toilet's going to be here. Shower drain. Originally, it was set up to be shower, toilet, water uh cabinet so, but i had them switch it to toilet cabinet and tub mm -hmm. yeah it, the way, see the way i see it it's, it's not going to take much all you all you have to do is put an extension on this by another two feet cut this here and here and here and drop everything down yeah. and then put a fitting here 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 and a fitting there and just drop everything down and cut way back over there another yeah. foot. Yeah, drop that down. You can drop it down. Yeah. You know, and because the only real work here is uh uh is the digging. Is the digging. And, yeah. and they they didn't want to do this damn concrete. Yes, I understand that. I, I I completely understand, which is why I switched from contracting to inspecting, because I don't like cutting concrete either. Hey, you know but if if that's the job even hired to do, then that's what you do. I could have did all that plumbing. And put all this stuff together in two, maybe three days, and drop it down to the proper uh, mm -hmm. length. But and I kept letting the, I kept letting uh, Tim Archer Construction or whatever. Uh, listen, man, just drop it down like it's supposed to. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. I was out. I, I was out there, and I helped him with over half that job of finding that pipe out. And that's not even my job to do. Mm -hmm. But I helped him anyway. You know, no thank you, no nothing, and they still don't want to listen. Now they gotta listen. Yeah, well, they're just not gonna pass inspection and not get paid, so I see the conundrum. All right, well, I will. I got my notes. I'll talk to my colleague. If if the homeowner needs any clarification, he's he's feel feel free to have him call me at, the, at my cell number or at or email me, and I can I can you know just say hey, this is this is what we're aiming for. Same with anyone else. I'll let Mike know. What I, you know, what I saw when I, like, I'll probably cross paths with this afternoon, but yeah, just let's just get this back in line, back in order, because yeah, you know, obviously someone needs their, someone needs to live here. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a home for one of the sons, but eventually, it, right now, it's gonna start out to be an office for the homeowner. Okay. And then, as when uh, their oldest son Matt gets old enough, he's gonna live out here, keep the kids close to home. My How you doing, Melissa? Hey, hey. My uh, when I got old enough, I moved into the back of the station wagon in my dad's field. I was like, I'm like, I'm out of here. It's close enough to home. But... Uh, give me a second, will you, real quick? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Come on out. All right, Daryl, I'm going to post this to YouTube. You can watch it.